Currently my phone overheat when there is like a higher definition so we are moving back to 720p. Now in isotopes you need to understand firstly how to define it. Basically it just means that it is the same element with the same proton number but different neutron number. So in short it just means that it, we have two same element here. Chuck chuck chuck. Okay. And then these two same element Everything else on the outside is similar, similar, but only this particular point, point inside is different. In this clump here, and in this clump here, this particular clump, it has, they both, and this, these two particular clumps, they both have the same proton number, because uh, what that element is, is actually based on how many proton number they have. The only difference, is their neutron number. So basically, maybe this clump has one neutron lesser than this, this clump has one neutron more. Yeah, it's as simple as that. So when it has a different neutron, it's going to change the function of it. Like, you know, carbon-14 is used for carbon dating to like measure how long is something, how long is a certain product already. While if you have carbon-12, it's actually just the typical field that we use, the one that we heat up. So just remember a few functions of all these isotopes. It's basically callback 60, we use to fight cancer, it's used to fight cancer, and then it can actually kill, use gamma ray to kill the bacteria in the food. And the next up is going to be the assays regarding it. So for the assay part, um, you need to understand about, they will mostly ask you about carbon-12 and carbon-14. It's the most common example. Carbon-12 is the fuel that we burn and carbon-14. So, we are going to have to define it firstly, then you get your one marks, and then you are going to elaborate from the atoms they give you. Which, by elaborating, we mean stating all the examples that we have in this case. So, there will be the proton number, nuclear number, number of protons, number of electrons, number of neutrons, electron arrangement, which basically just means something like 2.8.8 or 2.8.7 is basically yeah, the number of shells in the electrons. Then, the number of valence electrons, the electrons at the outermost shell. So, if you have 2.6, this means it looks like 2, 6. And the outermost shell has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 electrons. Okay. So the next one is going to be about your atomic mass, which um, the atomic mass, of course, the one with lesser neutron is going to be lighter, right? Since all the other components are the same. Yep, so atomic mass, you're going to mention that one is lighter, one is heavier. And radioactivity in carbon-14 is radioactive, while carbon-12 is not. Because of their difference in the neutron, they can actually change the properties of the element. So the usage of it, carbon-12 is used for fuel, and carbon-14 is used for carbon dating. Okay, that's it. Chapter 1. Congratulations, and I'll see you next time.